if I threw a bunch of exercises at you, would you know what order to do them in? Does the order even matter? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my take as a personal trainer who's been doing home calisthenics for a long time now. This video was inspired by a comment from our friend, The Real Dodo, so thanks for that. I remember way back, before I learned how to effectively program my calisthenics training, I would just do whatever exercises came to mind, which meant my workouts were unorganized and took way longer than they should. When I learned how to properly plan my training, I had more enjoyable workouts and made better progress with less time investment. So the short answer is yes, exercise order does matter, but it's actually simpler than you think. When arranging your workouts, don't think about it in terms of which muscle group should I train first, pick compound movements first, starting with the ones that you find most challenging. A compound movement is simply any exercise that uses more than one muscle group at a time, such as pull-ups, push-ups, bodyweight dips, squats, and lunges. Because these exercises use multiple joints and muscles, they demand more energy, which is why I recommend you do them first when you're more fresh. After going through all the compound exercises in the workout, you'll then move on to your isolation movements, which are exercises that target one single muscle group, such as tricep dips, bodyweight bicep curls, calf raises, and crunches. These exercises aren't as physically taxing, but they're a great way to target those specific muscle groups that you want to build. Think of it like this. You wouldn't want to do three sets of tricep dips before your push-ups because you will have exhausted your triceps, which would then impact your performance for the push-ups. Just like a powerlifter wouldn't do tons of cable tricep extensions before their bench press, because this would drastically impact their performance for the bench. So let me show you how I'd structure a calisthenics workout for an intermediate level person. Starting with the most demanding compound movements, I might choose pull-ups first, which target the big muscle groups of the back, as well as your biceps and abdominals, followed by push-ups, which target the whole of the chest, triceps, and the front deltoids. They also require constant activation of your core, like in a plank. Then, the king of the leg exercises, squats, which target most of the lower body, and again, require some support from the core muscles. Near the end of the workout, I'll include the more targeted isolation movements, such as bodyweight curls for the biceps, tricep dips for the triceps, no surprises there, Calf raises for the, can you guess? Shoulders, no, just kidding. Calves, of course. And finishing with hanging leg raises for the core. I save my core exercises to last because they all fit into the isolation category. And like I mentioned, the core is used a lot for other exercises, so I don't want to burn it out early. This is just an example routine. It's not what I'd recommend for everyone. And of course, if you work with me one-to-one, -one, then these workouts are going to be tailored to your fitness level and your goals. But hopefully you can see the point, that focusing on your compound movements first, starting with the one you find most difficult, is the best way to structure your workouts, in my opinion. If you enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe for more, and tell me which calisthenics exercise you find most challenging in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, stay vital. To learn the simple tactic that skyrocketed my strength, Watch this video next.